Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with American Vineyard Magazine reporting to you from the Tree and Vine Expo at Stanislaw County Fairgrounds. I'm here with Carl Lund, Viticulture Advisor from the UC Cooperative Extension who addressed growers today on resistant rootstocks for nematode control in vineyard operations. We've got some good rootstocks that have come down the pipeline over the last, what, 10, 15 years? Yeah. And some stuff that's even newer, right? I yeah, so we both have the RS3 and RS9 are the two new uh, rootstocks that came out of the USDA breeding program. Uh, they're specifically for root knot uh, nematode resistance. Uh, they have broad spectrum resistance. Pretty much everything we've thrown at them, um, they have been able to resist. We then have the GRN series coming out of UC Davis, so it's GRN 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Um, coming out of the breeding program of Dr. Andy Walker. Those have been shown to be resistant to root knot, uh, dagger nematodes, as well as differing levels of resistance to uh, citrus and lesion and pin. So they kind of have this broad spectrum of resistance going against pretty much any nematode that you're going to have trouble with in your vineyard. And are these all commercially available? Um, so all of them are commercially at the nurseries already. Um, RS3 and 9 as well as GRN 2, 3, and 4 are widely available already from the nurseries. You just have to get in contact with your local nurseries. GRN 1 is at the nurseries, but the nurseries are currently having problems. Um, I actually just talked to a nursery recently that's saying they're only getting about 20% take with GRN 1. Uh, GRN5 they are able to supply, but we're actually having trouble um, in some of our research plots with GRN5 with rooting. So they're coming out of the nursery looking like they've started to root, but once we get them into the field, the root system they have dies back and only about 10 to 20 percent are surviving that first year in the field. So there's, there's an issue there with GRN5 rooting that we haven't quite figured out yet. Um, some plantings have worked out, so it's not you shouldn't completely avoid this, but you definitely need to work with your nursery to make sure you have a good planting uh, if you're going to use GRN5. Yeah, definitely something to look into in the future. Also, not all these rootstocks are resistant to all nematodes. There's different kinds of nematodes out there, right? uh, Yes, so the GRNs, 1 through 5, all have pretty broad resistance. RS3 and 9 are really only bred for uh, root knot resistance. They do have some lesion resistance as well, but that's just kind of a happy accident. Uh, but they are not dagger, pin, or uh, uh, citrus resistant. So you do have some give and take. That GRN series does look like it's gonna be a pretty good overall resistance to a little bit of everything. Right, right, well thank you Carl. Uh, now is a good time, right, to, to test and see what kind of nematodes you have and, and, and what the populations are currently. Yeah, so late have. fall going into dormant is a good time to test your populations um, and see what you have in your field um, to see what rootstocks uh, you should be looking at planting in your next plantings. Great. We'll read more about it in American Vineyard Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.